Om Shanti. This is the Abhyakta Murli of 24th of December, 1979. And the title is The Gathering of Those Who Bring Light to the World. Today, Bab Dada is very pleased to see each child. Bab Dada knows how elevated each one of his children is. Each of you children is a light for the world, the eyes for the world. You are the stars of Bab Dada's eyes. He makes you children sit in his eyes, that is, he merges you in his eyes. Eyes are praised a great deal. If someone doesn't have sight, then it is as though the world doesn't exist for that person. Just as physical eyes are very important, similarly, each of you children is a light for the world. Without you, the light of the world, the world has no value. When you remain stable in the stage of the light of the world, the world becomes happy and elevated. When the light for the world comes down from this stage, then the world seems tasteless. Everything depends on all of you to such an extent that it is said, when you are awake, the world is awakened. And when you are sleeping, the world is sleeping. Therefore, you are the images who support the world. The whole world stage of ascent is connected with your stage of ascent. And the whole world's stage of descent is also connected with your stage of descent. While moving along, does each of you consider yourself to have this much responsibility? Do you all have this awareness? In observing the present stage of each of you children, Bab Dada sees to what extent each of you lights of the world is bringing light to the world. One's eyes are said to be the light of one's life. All of you are the lights for the world. If the light for the world is itself fluctuating, what would be the condition of the world? When the physical light here constantly flickers or doesn't work, how do you feel? Do you like it at that time? In the same way, if you lights for the world are constantly flickering, what would the condition of the soul's of the world be like. Everyone's vision is on you stars of the world, you lights for the world. Everyone is waiting. Waiting for what? On the path of bhakti, in referring to a thought, they have said that transformation took place when Shankar opened his third eye. However, this praise belongs to you lights of the world who belong to the clan of Shiva. When your eyes for the world reach your perfect stage, when you open your eye of perfection, transformation will take place in a second. So lights of the world, when will you open your eye of perfection? Your eye has already opened but every now and again, the dust of Maya enters it and continues to make it flicker. You can imagine it, what condition your eyes would be if any dust were to enter them. You wouldn't be able to give stable drishti to anyone. The whole world is waiting for you eyes, for the world to give them one second's drishti. They are wondering when the drishti of their specially loved deities will fall on them, when they will be given just a glance 
so that they can go beyond. If those who should be taking others beyond with their glance are constantly rubbing their eyes, how would they be able to take others beyond? There is a long queue of those who want to be taken beyond with a glance. This is why your eye of perfection should always remain open. Bab Dada watches the wonderful scenes of the lights for the world and sees how the lights for the world cannot even keep their eyes open steadily. While you take others beyond with your glance, some of you even nod off slightly. How could those who are nodding off take others beyond with their glance? Nodding off is as though your mind is choking. Your bhagats are looking at you and you images. The ones who should be granting them visions are nodding off. So in what condition would your bhagats be? Therefore, only when you stop rubbing your eyes and nodding off will you be able to become an image that grants visions. Bab Dada looked at you lights for the world at Amrit Vela to check whether you were flickering or sitting steadily. He saw many different forms and poses. All of you know them. So, what else could he say about them? The past is the past. From now on, understand how important you are and how important your task is and constantly remain ignited. You can transform the world within a second through your own transformation. Practice becoming a karma yogi at one moment and experiencing your karmati stage the next. People outside give the example of how a tortoise, your creation, is able to withdraw all its physical organs within a second. Even your creation has the power to pack up and the basis of your power to pack up? Are you master creators able to merge all thoughts and in one second stabilize yourselves in one unified thought? Although there may be upheaval everywhere, you should be able to become unshakable in a second even while amidst that upheaval. Do you know how to put a full stop? How long does it take you to put a full stop? It is so easy to put a full stop that even an infant is able to do that. He may not be able to put a question mark, but he would be able to put a full stop. The present time will see an increase in upheaval. However, when nature creates upheaval, you masters of nature have to remain unshakable. At this time, nature is only giving you small tests, but in the final paper, all five elements will be very fierce. Firstly, nature will be very fierce. And secondly, because the five vices are coming to an end, they will come to you in their fiercest form and make their final attack on you. Thirdly, there will be the various types of all souls. On one side, you will be attacked by Tamoguni souls. And on the other side, there will be the various cries of the devotees. What will be the fourth thing? Your old sense scars. At the final moments, even they will be looking to take their chance. They will come and bid you farewell once and for all time. In what form 
will your sun scars come? They will come to some of you in the form of suffering of your karma and to others in the form of bondage of your karmic relationships. To some, they will come in the form of waste thoughts and to others, they will especially come in the form of carelessness or laziness. Everywhere, the atmosphere will be one of upheaval. The authorities of government, religion, science, and all other fields of physical power will be in upheaval. At such a time, will you remember how to put a full stop? Or will a question mark appear to you? What's going to happen? Are you sufficiently experienced in the power to pack up? Are you able to observe and not see? Are you able to listen while not hearing? While observing the upheaval of nature, you masters of nature will have to quieten it down. With your stage of knowledge of how to put a full stop, you will have to stop all the upheaval of nature. You will have to transform its tamoguni stage into its satoguni stage. Are you practicing this to such an extent? Are you invoking such times and accumulating the power to pack up within yourself? You especially need to practice this. One moment, be corporeal. The next moment, become angelic. And the next, incorporeal. It should be very easy for you to stabilize in each of the three forms. Just as you are easily able to stabilize in the corporeal form, in the same way, the angelic stage and the incorporeal stage are also both your own natural stages. It should therefore be easy for you to stabilize in your own stage. In this corporeal world, you are able to change how you dress when you want to. Similarly, you should be able to change the stage of your form. You have to let go of the awareness of your corporeal form and become an avyakt angel. You must be able to put your angelic dress on in a second. Do you not know how to change your dress? You must practice doing this over a long period of time. Only then will you be able to pass in time. Do you understand how powerful the speed of time is going to be? Are you ever ready for such a time? Or will you only be ready when you are given the date? If you were to be given the date, then instead of remaining soul conscious, you would become date conscious and would not be able to pass with full marks. This is why you are not given the date. However, all of you should be able to receive a touching of what the date will be. You should be able to experience it as clearly as if you were seeing a scene with your physical eyes. You should be able to experience what is to come in the future very clearly. However, you lights of the world should constantly keep your eyes open. If you let the dust of Maya into it, you would not be able to see clearly. Practice changing your dress. Today, there is a confluence of three rivers in Madhuban, Delhi, UP, and the centers abroad. It is the confluence of the Triveni. Today, the ocean has come to bathe in the Ganges. Baba would, of course, 
placed the Ganges ahead of him. All three rivers are engaged at their own speed in purifying everyone. The praise of each of you is greater than that of the others because the sound has to emerge from the foreign lands. The kingdom has to be created in Delhi and the memorials are to be created in UP. So the individual importance of each is also elevated. The sound from the foreign lands is now beginning to emerge. The old throne of Delhi is now about to shake and the Pagats are desperately searching for their especially loved deities or for the fruit of their devotion. The devotees are preparing themselves to meet their especially loved deities. You master gods should now be ready so that the curtains can be drawn apart. It is now the time for the curtains to be drawn apart and a glimpse of you to be granted. Each of you three groups should intensify the speed of your task. The first should make the sound reach everywhere very quickly. The second should prepare the kingdom very quickly. And the third should quickly quench the thirst of their devotees. Only when these things are accomplished will there be the sound of victory. Do all of you three rivers understand what you have to do? Foreigners have to do this instantly. Those from abroad have been making effort very well. You have prepared all the ornaments. So what else do you have to do? You now just have to embellish the ornaments with diamonds. You are those who play the hero heroine part. Acha? What will those from UP do? Just as there are temples in every street of UP, so there should also be a center in every street. Only then can knowledge compete with devotion. Devotion will bow down to knowledge. What will those from Delhi do? You must now create the Raj Yoga place on the banks of the river Jamuna. For only then will your palaces later be created on the banks of river Jamuna. First, create your Raja Yoga palace and then your other palaces will be created. The foundation has to be laid at this time. The Raja Yoga Bhavan has to be built now. Those from UP should perform the play that illustrates the battle of religious. You have been told that the religious heads who used to oppose you with raised eyebrows have just lowered their eyes. However, you now have to make those heads bow down. At the moment, you invite them to come onto your stage. Only when they invite you onto their stage as their chief guest, will it be said that those heads have bowed down. To those who fulfill all of Bab Dada's hopes, to the lamps of elevated thoughts, to those who constantly put a full stop, to those who have been practicing over a long period of time being ever ready, to those who are to bring about world transformation through their self-transformation, to the Triveni rivers, Bhaktada's love, remembrance, and namaste. Avyakt Bhaktada meeting a group. The special task of you knowledgeable souls is to make a place of worship into a place of knowledge. 
Are you making all souls realize that all knowledge apart from the knowledge given to you by the Father is tasteless? Those people should experience the contrast of what they are doing and what you are attaining. They should feel that while they are wandering, you are attaining. Only when people experience this will the sound of victory be heard. The more all of you instrument souls for service remain lost in the sweetness of this experience, the more those people will experience themselves to be dry and sweetness. So, what do you think? Do you think that they realize that you are eating butter, whereas they are just drinking buttermilk? You have been told that there should be a Raja Yoga Center in every street, that there should be a center in every street to give this experience, to change a place of worship into a place of knowledge is the special task of knowledgeable souls. When will those places for knowledge be created? When people develop disinterest in worship, the seed of knowledge can be sown. You should now create such an atmosphere by serving through your mind that they feel that they have received nothing by worshiping. Only when they become totally beyond everything in this way can the seed of knowledge be easily sown in them. What method do you have to adopt for this? For this, you have to continue to bring those eminent souls close and especially those who are loving souls. One type is those who are selfish and the other type is those who have love. When you bring such souls close to you repeatedly by holding loving meetings, many others will benefit through them. At first, you will have to make a little effort, but afterwards, they themselves will continue to increase these gatherings. Just as the sound of revelation will emerge from abroad, so too the sound should emerge from the places of worship that as well as worshiping, there has to be something else. Their desires are not being fulfilled by worshiping. Why? Only when they begin to question this will revelation be brought about. Nowadays, there is this upheaval amongst the religious leaders. They wonder why there is conflict in religion and why everything is disintegrating. They have this confusion in their minds, but they haven't yet found the cause of this confusion. They just feel that nothing is resulting from whatever they are doing. They don't yet realize why they are not receiving any fruit of their worship or why what should be resulting from their worshiping is not actually taking place. Only when such questions arise in their minds will they look to you and come closer. Do you feel compassion for the devotees? After all, devotees are very innocent Mercy is definitely felt for those who are innocent. All of you should now have the determination in your mind to enable all devotees and the innocent ones to definitely find their destination. Only then will you be able to become number one. Christmas greetings to all the children from abroad. To all the sweet children who are as sweet as raisins, Gishmish, please accept greetings filled with new zeal and happiness for the new year. Throughout the year, 
May you constantly experience the Father's company. This Christmas also brings with itself the blessing of your constantly remaining combined with the Father for all time. May you remain combined just as you dance in pairs on this special day. So too, continue to dance with the Father with happiness throughout the year. Bab Dada is giving you a box of all powers as a special gift. The greatest gift of all is to be a master almighty authority and a constant conqueror of Maya. Acha, blessing. May you be a master almighty authority who experiences every power in a practical way according to the time. To be a master means to experience instantly in a practical way whatever particular power you invoke at a particular time. As soon as you order it, it should present itself to you. It shouldn't be that when you order the power of tolerance, the power to face presents itself to you. You would not then be called a master. Therefore, experiment and see whether the power you require comes in front of you at the particular time you order it. If there is a delay of even a second, then instead of being victorious, you would be defeated. Slogan. The greatest of all knowledgeable souls are those who remain soul conscious. Om Shanti.